A very good evening. Tonight I just thought I'd take a few moments to consider the early stages of my development in the faith and some of the fears that I over had to overcome and to this day still struggle with. Not that I'm completely overcome on these issues, obviously. We all have shortcomings and many different things can intimidate us to not pursue the things that God would have us by His Word. In the early going, I guess what I would say was I was quite overwhelmed by the degree of understanding that the parties that I initially had contact with had in God's Word. And when it did door-to-door -door work, for an example, I felt pretty inept to actually partake of that with a clear conscience, but I was looking at it through a, a humanistic viewpoint. And I believe it's quite necessary in the early going, if you're going to get involved in any of that kind of work, to not put too much of a yoke upon yourself. Don't have too high of expectations. And if you're fortunate enough to have a few parties that have a bit of experience, count yourself blessed. But in the end, you're, we all are going, we're all going to have to make our mistakes. We're all going to have to get our feet wet. And I would say in the early going, just try to reserve yourself from delving into areas of uncertainty. Speak that what you know. Keep it simple. You don't have to have all the answers. Really, when it comes right down to it, Paul simply stated that he determined not to know anything among them, save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. So oftentimes I found myself complicating matters in the early going, maybe delving into areas that were not necessary, areas that maybe I wasn't really prepared to defend adequately with the Word. And so these were things that, from a personal standpoint, I know I struggle with, and I'm sure that other young believers are struggling with the same kind of things. If we can try to keep it simple, in the early going, if you could be a silent partner and pretty much listen in, and as time moves ahead, and as you acquaint yourself with more of the scriptures that will deal with the first hurdles of the faith, then you'll know when the time is right. You know, God will give you the wisdom to know how to respond. And eventually, you know, I always tell the party that's with me, it's your door now. And I'm not going to intervene. When I say it's your door, it's their door. Because they have to fumble and they have to learn how to find those things. And, you know, I'll bail them out when push comes to shove. If the guy's interested and looks like the party might be interested in getting saved and they're having difficulty, well, I'm going to come in there and I'm going to support them. But, you know, it's, it's important to cut the cord, let everybody make their mistakes. In addition to that, I would also add that those mistakes are necessary for the development of the believer. As you develop in the faith, you'll be able to answer more objections. You'll be able to steer the conversation back on course. These are all skills that are learned on the job. <laughs> and you're, we're never going to get a perfect handle on that. Uh, some days may be better than other days. When it's all said and done, the Apostle Paul simply stated, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached, and he rejoiced in that. So there's intimidating factors, I know for myself, that were there in the early going, and I'm sure is there for everyone else. The main thing is, is you know you're doing God's will. Keep it simple. Take experienced parties with you if you're uncertain. Hopefully you'll have a good model to work with. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. There's nothing wrong with saying, sorry, I don't know that. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'll have to get back to you on that. Because we don't have all the answers. So you'll actually garner a little more respect from parties if you're a little more forthright. And God will develop you if you have a genuine interest in getting God's Word out. He'll walk you through those hurdles and make sure that you get established in the faith. So I just thought I'd pass this on. I know, speaking for myself, I had hurdles to overcome in the early going, and I'm sure many young believers here are in a very similar situation. Don't fret about it. And uh, God give you grace. He'll give you what you need to get you through what you need to know to help you to soul win. If you're going to do His work, 
Don't you worry, God will take care and He'll watch you, watch over you. Uh, line upon line, line upon line, precept upon precept here a little, there a little. He'll develop you in the faith, He'll get you to this point where God can use you. So with that said, let you folks get on with your evening and uh, you folks have a very good night.